Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa 4 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding it until you see the Fitbit logo on the screen. And after you turn on the watch, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and select it by tapping on it. And once you select the language, you will need to download and install the Fitbit application on your phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Google Play Store, tap on search and type in Fitbit. <laughs> then tap on search button. You should see this application, Fitbit. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Uh, once the application opens, you will see this page and basically what we need to do is to log in into a Fitbit account. If you don't have a Fitbit account, tap on the join Fitbit button and make an account there. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on login, enter the email address and password. And then I'm going to tap on the login button to log in. I must have entered the password wrong, so give me a second. Okay. After you log in, you might be asked to allow the permission for notifications or to send the notifications. Notifications, rather. Basically, the app uh, wants, to be, wants to be able to send the notifications to you and you can allow it or deny it. If you want to deny it, you can simply tap on the X button right here to skip this. If you want to allow it, tap on set permissions and you can tap on allow. You can also tap on don't allow, but it will basically redirect you to this page. So uh, if you don't allow it, you can tap on X to skip this. Okay. And once you're done with the permission, you should see the today page of the app. Now tap on the account icon or profile icon right here to open the account page and then tap on set up a device. Select the Versa 4 from the list, tap on setup, tap on the nearby permissions because we need to allow the required permissions, tap on allow, tap on setup, tap on I accept next and here we can rather we need to allow no we can because you can tap on continue without location if you want to but basically what the one uh, what the app wants from us is basically to allow the location permission and you can allow it or deny it uh, you can try uh, denying it or rather keeping keeping it disabled by tapping on continue without location or you can allow it if you want to by tapping on the uh, message right here and basically it will open the pop-up window, you can allow it and you can also allow it to uh, track the location in the background. And if you want to do it, you can tap right here, it will redirect you to this page and you need to select allow all the time and then you can go back. And once you're done, you can tap on done. And now we need to enter the code from the watch. Tap on pair and connect, tap on pair, you can allow or deny, no, this one needs to be allowed, so tap on allow, here you can allow or deny the uh, notification access, basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on the watch, you need to allow this permission, if you don't care, you can deny it, I'm just gonna allow it for now, and right here we can purchase the uh, protection pl plan or whatever that is. I'm gonna tap on not now and we can update our watch rather we need to because as you can see we don't have skip button we need to tap on update. Uh, before you do it do this though I recommend to plug in your watch into a charger because if the battery dies it might damage your device. So uh, tap on update 
and wait until the updating is complete. It might take a while, um, but basically once it's done updating, your watch will be completely paired with your phone. Okay, and once the uh, watch is updated, you can tap on continue, tap on got it. You can see the tutorial how to use the watch and Alexa, then tap on get started. You can, uh, it will open the browser for some reason. Let's see why. Oh, it tells us how to set up the Alexa. I'm just gonna tap on not now, no thanks. Uh, oh, we can tap on not now button right here to skip this. <laughs> here we can uh, allow more permissions as you can see. We can tap on permissions and allow the required permissions for the notifications to work. Like I said before, so basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to allow uh, specific permissions. Um, as you can see, this one is also required, so we need to tap on allow for some reason and then you can tap on skip or you can uh, allow even more of them if you want. And then we have Bluetooth pairing, we need to tap on it. Tap on pair. Here we can learn more about the band or other watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip, then tap on next, next. Next, 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 and then done. <laughs> Again, you can buy premium subscription if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on X. And after all that, your watch should be right here on the list. You can tap on it to open the device page for it. And here we have it. Also, you can use your watch at this point. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.